After the end of World War II, the population shrank. The factories that once produced planes began producing cars. And the Mustang Mach 1, Mach 1, for instance. It's got recessed taillight. An optional 428 Cobra Jet V8 with a shaker. And a sporty new front end. But most of all, the 1970 Mustang's got... Personality. What makes Mustang number one? Personality. The 1970 Mustang hardtop, for example. It's got an economical six to move you. And that sporty look all around you. But most of all, Mustang got personality. For 1970, number one, there's Mustang hardtop, Mach 1, and the elegant Grande. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Personality. Before imagined, at a distance from the city never before accepted. Port Forest, Illinois, was one of the largest privately built communities in the country, opened in 1948. It was more than 30 miles from jobs and services of downtown Chicago. The car influenced both the physical layout of the development and daily lives. traffic in 1955 and modernized and expanded in 1959. It was developed on an old air, airfield in a quiet community far northwest of Chicago. The city annexed the land and built the Northwest Expressway to the and defense highways would eliminate unsafe roads, inefficient routes, traffic jams, and all of the other things that got in the way of speedy, safe, transcontinental travel. 